this problem with <clears throat> my Elgato disconnecting randomly in the stream. Um, it took me a long time to figure out what was going on, and there's a lot of useless information out there, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show the things I did to, to fix it. Um, so the, the problem I was having was in the middle of the stream, suddenly everything would go black, um, and then a second later come back. But the, the problem with that is that OBS sometimes wouldn't pick up the feed again, so you get this black, you're left with this black stream. Um, so, first of all, trying to figure out what the heck is going on took me ages, but I think the problem is that the Elgato is underpowered through my, um, I don't, I'm not using a high-end, um, PC for streaming, so likely what's happening is the Elgato is temporarily losing power, so there could be many, many reasons why this is happening um so it's very difficult to diagnose it's difficult to fix but there's a few really important things you can do um you want to make sure your computer is running at high performance uh in in windows you want to make sure everything's sort of set to the highest settings for for that um for general sort of window settings, but then then you want then you need to start looking at USB specific power settings. So there's a few different things I changed. First of all, though, um, something important to know is what to do if that happens to you. So let's say you're in the middle of an important stream, suddenly everything disconnects. Um, it took me a while of tinkering around to figure out what the best way to get it back right away is without restarting your stream. So if you open up the properties of your of your stream, which you can see right here, um, of the source, of your video source, whatever it is, and you just change the device right here to a different device, and then you just change it back right away, that'll force OBS to pick up the, to, to go out and pick up the feed again and uh, refresh it um, right away. So that works very, very easily. But then some, some things you can change. Um, you need to go into your um, little device manager. And you want to look at your actual USB um, um, hubs. I, I'd go through everything here. You want to make sure that you allowing the computer to turn it off is disabled you don't want any any power any power stuff being messed with basically um another really important thing that i can sort of show you right now is to look at how you physically have your setup in going into your pc you um the elgato needs to run in usb 3 so you want to have a minimal amount of stuff running on usb 3 and a minimal amount of stuff running on usb because um, you need to have it so that if the Elgato needs to suddenly draw a ton of power, it, it can do that. There aren't other big power sinks happening. So there's a few ways you can do that. Um, I'll try to show you right now with the camera. So on the front of your PC if you, or of your computer, if you have USB, try to keep it to a minimum. Um, try to keep underpowered devices here. So I only have my... Um, keyboard and mouse plugged in to the front, okay? So then going around the back, uh, I've got to get everything as spaced out as possible. So yeah, I've got two USBs on the front, I've got two USBs here on my USB 2, which is on the bottom. Kind of hard to see here. And then I have two things plugged into my USB 3 here. If you can get away with only one, I would recommend doing that, because you want to have the maximum amount of power going to the Elgato. Then another thing I changed, which seemed to help quite a bit, is if you go into the actual game software or the Elgato software. Let me just load that up quickly for a second. Okay, you can go into the actual settings here.
And here, you, there's some codec settings. Um, you can see here, I don't even have a dedicated graphics card, unfortunately. Um, there's a few different options for how the video is being um, encoded and decoded. But here, there's a setting for highest quality and best performance. So what I did, I just changed it to best performance. Um, and because, well, first of all, I'm streaming Super Nintendo <laughs> a lot. So the quality isn't that important. Um, and second of all, I am favoring the performance here now because I don't want the, the stream, you know, crapping out in the middle. That just can sort of ruin the stream. So, and I haven't noticed any change in quality really.